Roman Reigns' dominant title reign is probably the greatest of all time. From great matches to great stories and heart-wrenching moments. But the match that comes in last place is... 15 seconds bruv, that's all it took for Roman Reigns to beat Sami Zayn in late 2021. Zayn had previously been attacked by Brock Lesnar, leaving him vulnerable during the match. But this didn't do much for Sami at all, making it the worst defense of Roman's title reign. The short length of this match was its only redeeming quality. While not dreadful, it devolved into a series of finisher moves that remind me of Goldberg's typical bouts. This match was uninspiring and predictable. Both Reigns and Strowman delivered average performances. However, the conclusion was noteworthy as Reigns secured a victory with a guillotine choke, bro. Exhausted from the grueling match, Brian stood little chance against Reigns, who swiftly emerged victorious in under two minutes. If you've watched one Brock Lesnar vs Roman Reigns match, you've pretty much seen them all. It followed the familiar pattern of both wrestlers exchanging their signature moves, enduring near falls, and repeating the cycle. Roman Reigns' latest SummerSlam title defense against Jey Uso disappointed many fans due to its slow pace and lackluster quality, and the tribal combat match fell short of expectations. A lot of this match between Roman and Bello was good, but unfortunately, bro, the conclusion was a significant disappointment. Kevin Owens and Roman Reigns recent encounter was decent and the outcome was somewhat expected which kinda diminished some of the excitement. LNI strong momentum faced a formidable challenge against Roman Reigns. While the match itself had solid fundamentals, it failed to stand out due to its predictable nature. Originally slated for Hell in a Cell 2021, the match failed to deliver the anticipated excitement. Roman Reigns faced a heightened risk of losing his title, and while the match had its highlights, it lacked suspense since the outcome was easily foreseeable. Balor's strength as an underdog bar fighter was evident once again in this matchup. The tension involving Paul Heyman added intrigue, yet the overall bout followed the familiar pattern of the previous Lesnar vs Reigns encounter. This match was thrilling with Kevin Owens showcasing his usual toughness, coming close to victory only to be prevented by Jey Uso. The conclusion saw Reigns leaving the cage victorious. This match is a hidden gem, bruv, often underrated. WWE brought back John Cena for a SummerSlam match, and Cena showed little sign of ring rust. The match unfolded predictably though, with Roman Reigns largely controlling the action. Cesaro wanted to avenge his friend Dan O'Brien. Despite the odds, he seized the opportunity to headline the event and delivered an impressive performance. This bout was truly remarkable, filled with intense emotion, and culminated in a dramatic conclusion. This TLE match was thrilling. KO wished it all in a display of intense action, with Jay also intervening to ensure Rain held on into his title. Rollins came into this match wearing the short skia and theme music. The match was notably quicker paced than Reigns' usual style. However, the momentum was interrupted when Reigns intentionally got himself disqualified. Roman Reigns and Kevin Owens engaged in a last man standing match that was incredibly intense and filled with unforgettable moments. Despite the remarkable showdown, Unfortunately, the Porsche at the end kind of ruined it a bit. Reigns finally faced off against Roman Reigns at Money in the Bank 2021, delivering a great performance. 
in the UK, bro, the atmosphere elevated the showdown between Drew McIntyre and Reigns. Despite McIntyre's previous lackluster booking, he emerged as a beloved hero. The match was fierce and full of action, but the unexpected debut of Solo Sikoa turned the tide in Reigns' favor. Due to the results, many fans have overlooked what was one of Roman Reigns' best championship matches. Reigns and Cody had a match that had a true main event feel, and it was an epic battle. This bout surpassed expectations, delivering a well-executed, compelling performance. This bout showcased remarkable action, featuring memorable moments and stellar displays. Each wrestler had their shining moments, yet it was the tribal chief who emerged victorious, securing the win by pinning both Edge and Dan O'Brien in spectacular fashion. Roman Reigns and Jay also delivered an exceptional performance. The match showcased outstanding storytelling and athleticism from both competitors. Despite this match being fantastic, it unfortunately lacked a fairy tale conclusion. The energy surrounding this bout was amazing. The clash between Roman and Brian on SmackDown undoubtedly stole the show, marking it as one of the greatest matches in SmackDown history. The main events of SummerSlam may have hosted the best Roman Reigns vs Brock Lesnar match ever. It was a hot match and overall a spectacle. The storytelling was perfect. The match showcased a compelling band of brutality and drama, capturing the essence of the ongoing family saga. Cody Rhodes and Roman clashed in a thrilling main event. This time, the atmosphere was even more electrifying. Amidst the chaos of interference from wrestling icons, Rhodes emerged victorious in a historic title win. Now those are my rankings, gentlemen and gentle ladies. Tell me in the comments if you agree or if you disagree with your butcher. Yeah. Now watch this video where I talk about the top 5 PLEs from the Renaissance era so far. Or this video where I talk about the biggest losers and winners in the history of WrestleMania. But with that being said people, I will see you all in the next one. Peace.